If you thought you saw the last of Double Cheeseburger Pizza, think again. Because it's back at Papa John's again with a large double cheeseburger pizza for just 12 bucks. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. This holiday at T-Mobile, it's not about how far apart we are. It's about how close we can be. So we're bringing out our best deal on the new iPhone 12 with 5G on every plan. Right now, get the iPhone 12 on us on every single plan. Switch now and save 20% on your bill versus the other guys. That's the best value in wireless. That's right, the iPhone 12 on us on America's largest 5G network. And save 20% per month. It's time to holiday on. It's time for T-Mobile. We pray each day. May you come home and be more? okay. For now, we wait for you, for you to come. <gasps> From the time you're born, a gland in your brain produces growth hormone. It's what makes you stay lean, build strong muscles, and feel energetic. Unfortunately, around the age of 20, your body starts producing less GH. And by the time you're in your 40s and 50s, it's much harder to stay energetic, lean, and build muscle. But what if there was a way to tell your body to get back to work and boost your GH levels again? Nugenics GH Boost uses an amino acid and botanical blend clinically demonstrated to help your body boost its own GH levels more than 100%. Text MOTOR to 42424. To get your complimentary sample of Nugenics GH Boost, you'll get the boost you need to sculpt a stronger, leaner body that is sure to turn heads. Get back to work with Nugenics GH Boost. Text MOTOR to 42424 to get a complimentary sample of Nugenics GH Boost. Text now and we'll include a bottle of new Nugenics Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever, to help you get back into shape fast. Text MOTOR to 42424. Here are the contestants for the Gatorade Slam Dunk Championship. It is. What you got? Oh, the lob, the bounce, the windmill jam. Oh, he's pumping his shoes up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's beautiful. She's got to come with something good. That's a Dominico. That's a Dominico. I, I'm going to be honest with you. D. Brown did a, did a pretty good job at the dunk contest. I will tell you this story. But my last year that I played in the NBA, 2005, um, I played with Orlando. I was going to practice in the morning. D. Brown had him and his kids who were sitting out in his yard with the slam dunk trophy from about 15 years before. <laughs> with the, the lemonade stands and everything set up. So he knew I was going to be honest with you. D. Brown did, 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 did a pretty good job with the dunk contest. I will tell you this story. But my last year I played in the NBA, 2005, um, I played <laughs> Well, that's funny. Number respect for D. Brown, yeah. but he know he can see through that little. Yeah, that little thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh my, that's that's the cherry on the Sunday. <laughs> we don't get the credit that we was a du the dynamic mm -hmm. duo because we only played like seven, eight years together. Right. Now, if we would have stayed. I think we'd have been like in the top one or two. And also, yeah, remember our, our, our winning percentage playing with each other. Absolutely. We didn't lose very many games. And you remember, in four years, we won 60 or more games. We was a team Ooh. and we went to the playoffs every year. Well. And fans are vocal in their support of a Sonics run for the championship. 92 and 93, when we was playing, um, you know, after we beat Golden State, that's when we really got people's attention. And in those next years, man, we had some quality teams. We really had a chance to do something special. And I think we were really playing great ball in the regular season, but we were we were missing a, a couple little things in the playoffs that kind of ate us up a little bit. But I think we really played in those years in 92 and 93, I think we played great ball. And in 92 and 93, though, Sean, when we lost to Phoenix, 
We took them to game seven. The Purple Palace is the spot where it'll be game, set, and match. I think that's when we played our best basketball. Mm -hmm. we, were, we just fell a little short because mm -hmm. we didn't have that pump. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? I think Phoenix had more basketball players in more different positions mm -hmm. than we did. They, they couldn't bitch. deal with us. They're yeah, they're better, better bitch. They couldn't deal with us. Sean Kemp. My goodness. And you wonder why this team is the best record in the NBA. I thought we figured it out when we lost to them. We came back in the regular season the next two next year, and we had the best record in the NBA yeah. and was the number one seed. What a remarkable year for Seattle. Franchise record wins of 63 and route to the best record in the NBA to establish themselves as a team to beat in the NBA. And next thing you know, we get in the playoffs. And it's, that's when they had a five-game series. Yeah. You only get you, the first series right. was five games. Welcome to the Seattle Center Coliseum for Game One of the Best of Five opening round series between the Denver Nuggets and the Pacific Division champion, the Seattle SuperSonics. Remember, we had beat Denver four times in the regular season already, and when we got up 2-0, what I think we did was we went back to Denver and we just got complacent. We let them off the hook. Mm. When I went down. Mm -hmm. And then you got on the free throw line mm -hmm. and had a chance to close them out, yeah, and you yeah, missed yeah. two. I ain't never seen you miss two free yeah, throws yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. And the door is still open for the Nuggets. And the boy Robert Pack came down and hit the three on us. Yeah. Took us in overtime, and then Reggie Williams. Oh, well. he, uh, he, put he, on, he put on cool a show. show. But Reggie Williams really looking to shoot the ball. Why not? When you're that hot. Reggie Williams leading the Denver Nuggets. Yeah. Here is on fire. Over in the corner, Reggie Williams, another three. What is going on here in Denver? Denver played a, played a great series. Matumbo played. Matumbo played great. He played decent, especially in those last two games. He played great on defense because he, he, he was he was he was he altering played. a lot of our shots. Absolutely. He did a lot of things that we wasn't used to him doing because the first two games mm -hmm. you dominated. He yeah. was dunking on him, everything, and then he adjusted to us and he started blocking all our shots. And then I, what I think we did was. Our mindset got to, he blocking our shots. Let's not go at him the way right, we need we to go at him. should have kept going at him. Should have kept going at him to get him in foul trouble. Absolutely. Makamba embraces the ball in the unlikely upset. One of the great upsets in NBA playoff history. The eighth seed, the Denver Nuggets, have beaten the team with the best record in the NBA, the Seattle Supersonics. We was always considered in the Western Ooh. Conference the bat. The back three, you right. know what I'm saying? Because they always had Carl Malone. Carl Malone and John. And you know me, I used to always want to get at John yeah. all the oh, time. And yeah. I told you to go at Carl and yeah. go in his head. We couldn't get past him. And I said, man, what are we going to do? And then all of a sudden, we yeah. got a chance to get him in, 90, in 95, 96, where we had him in the Western Conference Finals. The Seattle skyline serves as a backdrop for game one in the Western Conference Finals, where hopes are sky high. That was a big hurdle for us. John was at the top of his game, and Carl was a beast. Right, Let's right. Let's just keep it real. And uh, they had so many other ways that they could beat you, from the jump shot to the pick and roll to him streaking down the middle of the court. Uh, that was a big task for us to get past her, bro. Um, I definitely learned a lot from John and uh, Carl. Yeah, me too. I, I, I learned a lot from John. Uh, you know I talk about him a lot, mm -hmm. about how I model mm -hmm. my game after yeah, he is that. to get him the same way. And then I, I, I knew that you were learning from Carl. I had a lot of respect for Carl, a lot mm -hmm. of respect for John. Yeah. And yeah, they make it easy for us, man. Russell storms into the front court, shoots the shot from the right side, no good for three. Has you the rebound, the Sonics win. They hang on and take out the Utah Jazz in a tough, hard-fought seven-game series to go on to the NBA Finals to meet the Chicago Bulls. When we overtook them, I think that's where we became one of the, the best duel. I think yeah. I think we became the best duel in 95, 96. And then we had to go to that finals and see if we can be the number one because they Absolutely. had Jordan Absolutely. and Pippen. The NBA Finals return to Chicago. What time is it? Get it the prevailing attitude in Chicago and through most of the country, really, is that these NBA Finals loom not so much as a competition as a coronation. If it's going to have to go to work, great face. And he hits it at the buzzer. Come on, Peyton. Come on, Sean. You rebound it. You run us. Everybody play like the faithful players. Peyton leading the way. Peyton with the steal. And that little look like, Michael, you're the king, but I'm coming after you tonight. Now Jordan goes to the fatal.
Oh, he wanted that shot. This one's over. Chicago's going out to Seattle with a two-game lead. When we got in there, I think, Sean, we didn't play to win. We played mm -hmm. to survive. You know what I'm saying? Because me and you didn't start really picking it up mm -hmm. until game four. Yeah, game three or game four. You had a little injury at the start of the uh, Bulls series. Right. I knew it was going to be trouble for us. As the scene shifts to the Emerald City for game three, the Sonics look to get back in the series. Jordan far outside the center. Fires the three. Yes! Oh, baby. The Bulls have just taken the Sonics right out of the rhythm. They're not playing their usual game. I know this is the gloves home, and, you know, I wasn't going to verbalize, you know, any kind of confrontation with them. You know, I was just going to come out and play and let my basketball do all my talking. The Chicago Bulls will have a three zip lead in the NBA Finals. And this is a team that just has focused so well all year. We just think that we've got a good opportunity to put it back to them. They'll be loose. They'll be free. They'll be very intense defensively. We're going to have to step up another notch again and just hope that we can get an opportunity to win this fourth one. George Carl and his staff can only wonder what they can do. Are there any adjustments left? When you get beat, you look at yourself in the mirror, you say, hey, we got our butts kicked. And you take that with a good old education butt whooping, because that's what's been going on here. Well, we went down 3-0, and I, you, man, you had, we had a conversation. Oh, he yeah. was like, he was like, man, you all right? You all right, dog? And I said, yeah. I said, I'm about to go back and tell him I'm about to guard him. Defensive player of the year, Gary Payton, will start the game guarding Michael Jordan. That's a matchup many have wanted to see this entire series. And I don't yeah. care what happened. I, then I told you, I said, man, you just take over the game on offense. Ooh. I'll shut him down, and I'm going to give you what I can give you on the offensive side. You side, I know you're going to give me everything you've got. Stay in the game, gentlemen. Stay in the game and see if they get tired in the third and fourth quarter. Keep working your way back with your defense. Now, we got Gary on Jordan, right? Jordan and Payton going right at each other. Seattle is playing terrific ball. On the spin. Beautifully done. Posted up is Kemp. Got a turn. Uh -huh. Wheel. Oh, oh slam. Over oh, London. And the Seattle Supersonics taking the series back to the United Center. We now know how to beat them. And we know that we got to do some things uh, even better in Chicago. So when we start getting it, and then we beat them by, by 20 or more in the yeah. first two games, I oh, said, really? man, we got a shot at it. Oh, I yeah. said, we should have did this in the early beginning. And that's that's what I said, man, we should have started playing from mm -hmm. the beginning mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. I should have just told George from the get mm -hmm. that I was going to guard him from the get. Mm -hmm. You were starting to adjust to Rodman. Right. You were starting to adjust to him. You start getting your game right. And then because he came in yeah. and started banging on everybody, yeah. and then we started loosening up a little we bit. We did a little bit, but... The Bulls, um, you know, with Dennis Rodman, they always had that edge, man. You remember that year? They won that 72 games. Yeah. But people don't remember we won 65. Yeah, absolutely. We still had a 65 yeah, game, yeah. and we had split with them that year. Yeah. One and one, one and, and one, we had a yeah. good chance of beating them. And I think I think Phil Jackson knew that we had a chance mm -hmm. we could beat them. Look but out. me and you went in there mm -hmm. with a mindset of, let's get at them. Yeah. We wasn't scared. Hey, don't be afraid to double this guy. We hit him there. Michael, you're off the cut. Dennis, you're off the cut. Build your triangle. Go, 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 go. Be aggressive. Whatever you do, be aggressive. No, I, 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 I've had talks with Scotty about that, and um, we definitely, you know, I, I think if you hear Michael, he always say that was his favorite championship, but mm -hmm. the year that he beat us, so right, right, I right. got a lot of respect for that. The only thing I hate is we never won that championship with right. each other, but we just didn't have that up. Like we had, we, was we, had that. we was missing right something. We was just missing something, something. and it, it never happened, and, you know. But we still had a great run. We had great we runs. Run. We had yeah, great absolutely. runs. We had great runs. That was one of the worst times of my of my, of my life, man. I done lost I done lost my 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 soulmate. Really, yeah. basically, I lost my soulmate. Neon soul. You were shining long before they noticed. And in this moment, you are the perfect mix of all you've ever been. Sometimes the smallest gestures can be the most refreshing. Give extra, get extra. 
NBA championship. Back to Ross. He, he For every NBA moment, there's a flavor on DoorDash. Humera patients, this one's for you. You inspired us to make your Humera experience even better with Humera Citrate Free. It has the same effectiveness you know and trust, but we remove the citrate buffers. There's less liquid and a thinner needle with less pain immediately following injection. Ask your doctor about Humera Citrate Free, and you can use your copay card to pay as little as $5 a month. Humera can lower your ability to fight infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections, including tuberculosis and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humera if you have an infection. Ask your doctor about Humera Citrate Free, the same Humera you trust with less pain immediately following injection. If you can't afford your medicine, Abvi may be able to help. Share the joy this holiday with the Whopper and the two for five deal. Your way, way better. It's been a tough year, and now with Q4 wrapping up, the North Pole has to be feeling the heat. It's okay, Santa. Let's work flow it. Work flow it? Uh huh. Just picture it. With the Now platform, we'll have the company you always imagined efficient, productive, seamless. Okay. I'm in. Whatever your business is facing, let's workflow it. Service Now, official workflow partner of the NBA. Great play so far from Peyton and Kemp. Short oh, oh, oh. Gary Payton, that is so smooth. They're the most potent duo in the league. What an absolutely incredible play. They have been the dynamic duo here in this fourth quarter. Anytime you make trades, it's difficult and emotional. The big news today around the organization, Don, was the trade. No team made more noise than the Sonics. I'm going to be all right. <laughs> yeah, you're the only one asking one. I think our team is going to be great. I think we're going to come back and, and be great next year. That was the worst nightmare of my life. Worst nightmare of my life. You know, I was trying to get you to calm down. Uh -huh. They wasn't respecting you. Right, right. They wasn't doing a thing. And then we went and picked up uh, right, McAvane. Right, right. We went and picked him up. And then you hit me. It was like, bruh, you see what they gave that boy? And I said, yeah. oh, man, this ain't going to work, man. Yeah. Just come on now. You can't get, have Sean making less than the bench player, man. What's, what, what's happening? I'll tell you this, man. Me and Coach Gergens the one who found McIlvain. He was playing with the Wizards. Mm -hmm. We was at the end of the bench, and I was like to Coach Gurg, like, look, that'd be a good big man to bring on. But I didn't say go get him and make him the highest player <laughs> on the team. <laughs> I didn't say that neither. <laughs> I said, whoa. I said, and I love Michael Mac. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with Big Mac, yeah, man. Yeah. You can't get mad at Mac for accepting that, that money. money. Right. And, I, and my, my, my point with the organizations was that, is this. Man. We worked our bus hard for a lot of years, man. Made a lot of movement up, man. A lot of sacrifices had to be made in those years to get the type of players that we had on our team and stuff. You want to be treated with the respect. You want to be treated right, man. Mm -hmm. You want to be treated as you have treated that organization to put them in a position when they went from second and last in merchandise to first in merchandise sales. Right, right. I love Seattle. I love the Sonics. I didn't want to leave Seattle again. Right, right, right. But at the same point, though, um, you got to be smart about your players that you keep. Yeah. And you got to be smart about the business decisions that you make. I think it, it taught me something in business, man. Uh, man, it's tough to keep a good group together. Mm-hmm. It's tough, and I, I don't envy any of the, the business people that have to do that, but you have to reward the people who put that work in. Right, and I think during that time, they didn't want to pay me and you. No. And it's not like what it is nowadays, nowadays where you can pay absolutely. two and three guys. Yeah. We were signing for six-year deals. Oh, but I make sure you got your money before yeah, I got, got out my, of there. Yeah, you got, I got my money right out of 96. <laughs> you, you got me that paper. Yeah, I got oh, you. You got that paper. So it was good for that. So I wanted to get you your paper, yeah. man, so you could no, get No, you did, man, but I was winning yeah. that games, and you got me, you got me out there. I knew I was going to be in good 
good shape. And that was the worst day of my life when I came and all of a sudden they called me and said, we're going to trade Sean. I said, what? Yeah. You cannot trade my guy, man. Oh, yeah. That can't happen. And then all of a sudden, everything went blue, blue, blue. Then we became a mediocre yeah. basketball The first team. trade, I ain't never told you this, the first trade that they called me that night when I was going to the Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, if you would've did that I was, going, I was going to the Lakers, and then they called back, and then they was like, we don't want to face you four times in a year. Uh, I bet. I so, bet. So, <laughs> I bet. I didn't want to face so you four times We're going to give you a choice of three teams. They gave me a choice of Milwaukee, Cleveland, and I believe uh, Detroit. I actually knew I was going to go to Cleveland. You remember, that year is where the All-Star game All -Star was. All-Star game was, right. When we went there and played for that All-Star game, I knew then that I was going to go to Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like, knew in my heart, Gary, yeah, I was going to go. Know, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and that was, that was a That's bad true. thing, because I knew that I was going to have an opportunity, a situation where I probably won't play with you no more. Mm -hmm. When that day came, I was like, man, this is just this, this going to be bad for us. We're not going to be the same basketball team. Mm -hmm. And look, we didn't. You know, we, we, we kept trying to win basketball games, but we could never win without you. He is certainly a great acquisition for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Coming to the Eastern Conference means a lot to me. It means that I, not only is that a change, but you have to step up your game a little bit because uh, the eye is going to be on me. So uh, I don't mind that at all, and uh, I look forward to the challenge. And then you go to Cleveland yeah. and have one of the best years yeah. of your life ever. Oh, yeah. You had better better stats than, than you did in Seattle oh, and for that one year. Yeah, yeah. Kemp bounces it down. Denying by Kemp. Short of the heart of the rim and throw it down. Well, I'll tell you this, man. Um, I know when I came back here, we kind of messed up. Look for him to just be emotionally just on the verge of being out of control. It's going to be tough for him to harness those emotions. All that work that we put in between us now is separate. Right, right. You're talking almost a decade of work that we've been communicating daily with, doing with stuff with each other, defense in, offensive in, working on this and that. All that stuff is, is gone. Um, and now you're, you're forced with a team. I'm playing with a real young team. You're playing with some veterans, but it's just not quite the same. You don't have that extra edge to go into these ball games and know that you're going to be dominant in the fourth quarter. You've been in the playoffs before, but never with four rookies. What's your impression of how they're maturing in the series? Well, I think they're maturing fast, but uh, I missed the glove a little bit, though, I'll tell you that. I missed the glove. When you went to Cleveland and you had your success there, and and then I continue my success here. Not quite the same. Not quite the same. I done lost, I done lost my, my, my soulmate, really. Yeah. Basically, I lost my soulmate. Yeah. And, and then that's what it is. And then I wasn't playing for nothing here in Seattle mm -hmm. no more. Mm -hmm. Wasn't nothing for me to play for right. because you was over there in Cleveland. And I was like, you know what, man? I'm missing something. Yeah. And, and it was you. For something. It was you. And I, I didn't have that dog mm -hmm. with me who I can really, really come and say, I know he gonna be down with me. Yeah, absolutely, bro. And then when I got traded to Milwaukee in the 03 season, going to a different team and, and trying to adjust during our time was a little bit different. Oh, yeah, man. It was a little different. I mean, it's a, yeah, it's a big difference going to the East. All of a sudden now, I mean, I'm the biggest guy on the team, but I'm guarding Patrick Ewing and uh, Olajuwon every night. Right, you right, know, right. I'm used to guarding uh, guards and forwards. Yeah, yeah, wings. right, right, now switch it sudden, out. Now mm -hmm. all of a sudden, man, they got me. I'm down there guarding. You know, Pat, Patrick Ewing, I mean, Patrick's a beast of the post. Right, 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 well, right. Yeah, it's a big, definitely a big difference of the game. Everything changes, man. So I knew then that things were going to change, period, for myself because I didn't have...